Hello everybody, so today I would like to quickly just look at attributes and in particular the point attribute which is probably the best place to start when looking at attributes. Um, attributes are simply pieces of information that are connected to either a point, a vertices, a, a polygon or a, what's called a detail attribute which means it's something which is connected to the whole piece of geometry. Let's start with the point attribute, I think, because that's probably the simplest way to, to look at this. So let's look at, first of all, I'm just going to make one point. And I'm going to go to my add node. Okay, and I'm going to just add a point. Okay, now we can see that I've got this point there right in the middle, and I'll put my point number on so you can see it. I wonder if I can make that any bigger so it's easier to see. Let me have a look. Guides, um, point marker size. Does that do anything? I thought that would, and it doesn't. Never mind, I'll go to the font size. The font's a little bit bigger. Ah, it might help if I actually turn on the points, of course. There we go. So you can now see the point. And you see that the point is directly on the origin. Now we have something underneath here which I've added called the geometry spreadsheet. I find this really useful and I use it all the time. And what this is giving me the information here is that I've got points, I've got vertices, I've got the polygons, and I've also got the, uh, the detail which is, as I explained, the whole piece of geometry. Now in this particular one I've only got a point, so let me just look at point. And there's one point that point number zero and it gives me its position P means position in X in Y and in Z and we can see it's zero 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 now maybe I want to move that and I'm going to move this to one so it should appear over here all right there it's moved and we can see now that this is now moved to one Every point that you create will always have a position attribute and, and it will just appear by default because of course it needs to know where that point is going to be located. Let's take a, another example. Maybe I'll take a grid. All right. I'll see a bunch of points have come up there. I'm going to reduce these rows and columns right down. All right. And I think I'll just make the size of this one by one. Maybe that'll be the easiest way. Maybe two by two, actually, because then it'll make more sense. All right, so let's have it two by two. Now I can see here that I've got, maybe I need to go into wireframe for this. Let's go into wireframe. I can see that I've got a point here, um, point zero. Let's look at that one first. And I can see I've got point zero, one, two, and three which is the four points that I have available here. And point zero is at minus one, zero, minus one. Let me look, I'm in minus one in X, zero for Y, because it's straight on the plane here, so it doesn't need to have any value for, for, um, for Y. I shouldn't say any value, it'll have a zero value for Y. And then I'm going to minus one in X. Point one, of course, is 1, 0, minus 1. Then we've got 1, 0, minus 1. There it is. And the same for number 2 and point number 3. And of course, if I add more points to this, there we go. Now I've added more, and we'll find that points 2 and 3 have those values, etc., etc. All right. And the more points I add, the more I can see in my geometry spreadsheet. So remember this, that a point will always have a P, a position attribute. The others don't, because in Houdini it uses points to define where everything is. So you won't see these appearing in the other ones, but you will see different attributes appearing for the others. Okay? Hope that this was useful. You guys, if you've got any comments, leave them below. And have a great day. All right. Bye-bye.